Refugees, disability sufferers, mental health abuse victims. These are worthy causes. However, there is one unfortunate group of despised individuals who live in a terrible grip of all four actors. How much am I getting for this? This is Lauren. Being blonde-haired and blue-eyed naturally guarantees her a stable career as a receptionist. But as an actress, she has nowhere to go but panto. Books without pictures, like this one she's reading, don't even register. Poor girl. Meet Tobias. Pacing between his Art Deco chaise longue and his original Jackson Pollock, he's worn a hole the size of his ego in the floor of his five-story Regency mansion. He now firmly believes he is Hamlet and is trapped in a cycle of self-masturbatory emoting. Tobias, or not Tobias, astonishing. Jess, self-diagnosed, lactose intolerant and fashionably gluten-free, Jess has to face the daily horror of deciding between organic coconut milk and soya bean extract in her free trade Twachichino. This is Silvana. With a distinctly foreign sounding name, she has been forced to play a foreign maid in over 42,000 BBC radio plays. She displays her frustration by throwing a book, but as she's not from Surrey, I can't communicate with her. Tragic. It's not just actors who are despised and reviled. Writers and directors are equally unpalatable and in urgent need of your help. Meet Gareth. Weighed down by his own genius, he sits in an armchair all day imagining the best story never to be written. It breaks my heart to see him soiling the upholstery on that Edwardian armchair with his crappy metaphors. What is it about French-sounding directors that make you want to wretch? This wretch, Sébastien Blanc, is no different. The look of intensity on his face is so clichéd. I have to leave the room to be sick. Please help. Please send us your cash now. Send anything you can over a grand. Please, please hurry, before my limo gets here. It's only money and you don't really need it. They do. Mm -hmm.